What's going on everybody? My name is Marcus and this channel is The Thrifting Reseller. On this channel I make um, reselling content, uh, show you what's sold on eBay, what I got for my thrift hauls and things of that nature. So if this is something that you're into or you like this type of content, please consider hitting the thumbs up and the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you guys will know next time I drop another video. So today I have a what's sold on eBay video. I don't know about you guys, but my sales have kind of slowed down a tiny bit, but still enough to be thankful for though. So I'm thankful for just one sale, you know? So uh, I'm just gonna go over with, I think I got about nine or 10 items here to uh, share with you guys. And we'll go ahead and go over those nine or 10 items. I've been doing this reselling thing for, I've been reselling part-time for about probably a good, two three months now uh i've been selling sneakers reselling sneakers for a couple of months probably since october of last year and um it's okay you know uh, i make a ton more money thrifting and uh you know selling things on ebay than i ever do uh, selling sneakers it's just the profit the money that i spend to cop the sneakers is just it's a higher investment you know uh profit it was a higher investment uh that i put in instead of where i go thrifting i can get something for a couple of bucks and still make just as much as i would off of a pair of sneakers so anyway i don't have some of these items with me because i've already packed them up and shipped them out some of these items i just they're already in my car so i guess i should have filmed them before i put them in here anyway so we're gonna start off with um an x tool I'm gonna put it on the screen. An X tool. I paid seven dollars for this thing at the Dillbin store. It's like a our Amazon Overstock return store here in town. Paid seven dollars for it. I sold it for fifty for a profit of forty three. And then I didn't price the I didn't weigh the package the correct way before I put the uh shipping in there. So I ended up having to pay two two extra dollars towards shipping to get you know to make the shipping right so my profit was $41 and this is all before eBay fees uh, the next one is this box of Taylor's of Harrogate tea I got five boxes of this for seven dollars uh, maybe it was six dollars before so they used to be six dollars and they got a bunch of carts and then up the price to seven dollars I paid a dollar forty for this box I sold it for 18 and uh, I paid for shipping like a dummy. So my total profit was $7.60. Not so great because eBay fees still have to come out of that. So the next one is another not great sell for me. It's this thing of hot hands, uh, feet warmers, hand warmers, uh, and whatnot. I paid $7 for two bags. I sold one. Uh, so I have $3.50 in on this. So $3.50 in, I sold it for seven via promoted listing. And then I dropped the ball again on the shipping and sold it for eight fifty two, or I uh, and paid eight fifty two for the shipping, and uh, so all in all, I'm negative five dollars and two cents. Negative five dollars and two cents, guys. Hey, it is what it is. I learned my lesson for that one. Then I sold these uh, TK axle jeans. I paid five dollars for these from Goodwill, and uh, sold them for twenty one dollars for a profit of. 16 bucks now that's also before ebay fees but it's not too bad uh it's still some you know some profit better than losing out on the last sale like i did um then i sold a carhartt hoodie i got this also from the uh, dill bin store here in town i paid seven dollars for this hoodie which is a really nice hoodie actually uh and i sold it for 35 dollars for a profit of 28 bucks after or before eBay fees, two dollars. Uh, the buyer paid for shipping. It's thirty-five dollars profit after after making my initial seven dollars back. So I don't really know how to do all this stuff. I'm just a guy winging it. Oh yeah. So I also I went to the Goodwill bins in St. Louis. Uh, I got like eight pairs of shoes for a dollar a piece. I got this vintage Cleveland Browns towel that I paid a buck for and I sold it for $17.50. Me and this guy had a, uh, a bidding war. So you could say, uh, 
I, he sent me an offer for 12 bucks. I sent him an offer for 18. He sent me an offer for 14. I sent him an offer for 17.75 cuz I was paying for shipping and I told him that I couldn't really go any lower. But he sent me an offer for 17.50 and I just went ahead and I accepted it. So that towel right there paid for everything that I got from the Goodwill bins that day. Uh eight pairs of shoes, a dicky uh flannel jacket, the Cleveland Browns towel, a pair of sweatpants that I kept for myself, and uh, yeah, so all those items, it's 11 items. I paid like a dollar a piece, a dollar something a piece for each one of those items, so that towel paid for everything, uh, even with shipping, because it went first class, so it's not a bad deal right there. I sold a, uh, a Big Mouth Billy Bass. I got this Big Mouth Billy Bass at the Dillbin store for $7.00. The box is a little smashed up. I taped it up and uh, sent it on out. Uh, I sold it for $30. And I think I might have had it listed for a little bit more, but I took a best offer of $30 bucks for this. Or I'm, I'm up $21 after fees, so not bad. And uh, definitely thankful for it. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. Uh, this was a short video just to put some content out for you guys to give you some bolos to look out for. And I know it's not really all the best advice, you know, with bolos these days, because when people put these types of videos out, then the market gets flooded on things that have sold for someone else. But that doesn't mean that yours won't sell either, though. So I just still give you guys uh, what is sold for me. So that way you go. That way you'll know what to look out for and at least be able to make some sales. Uh, just like I watch everyone else's videos to see what's selling for them so I know what to look for because trust me, before I started doing this stuff, I had no idea what to look for or what would sell or, and you know, and I still don't, honestly. I look everything up in the stores. I look everything up. Once I go to the deal bins or the Amazon store, I load my cart up and then I go find me a corner somewhere and I look everything up and put what what's not selling for. I try to get a 30 to $35 sales range average on everything and uh if it's not meeting that criteria i put it back so that's just me though um uh, thanks for coming out and watching this video guys i really appreciate the support um uh, i'll be putting more content out for you guys it's been quite a while since i put my last video out i also run another youtube channel that takes my focus up but i make more money from thrifting than i do from selling sneakers so i'm going to try to put equal amount of focus into both channels and we'll just see what happens honestly guys because youtube is a lot of work and uh i work a part-time job and i do part-time selling and it just gets a little bit busy sometimes you know what i mean trying to keep a regular life and trying to be a reseller so eh, sorry sorry for the rant guys but anyway so thanks for coming out thanks for watching the video please hit the thumbs up hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so you guys know when i drop another video your support means everything thanks guys let's go out there and thrift and make some cash man peace